welcome to ACC Student News. The news students can use. I'm I Cody Reinsma. I'm Jenny Turner, and here's today's story. Staff Lake Mall in Hobart is about to get a bit more trendy. According to the Northwest Indiana Times, the mall has shuffled around Shuffle around some of the stores already there. Among the changes, South Lake Mall is adding a trendy Chicago barbecue called Pork Chop. This restaurant offers hip southern comfort food. Its current location includes the Loop and Navy Pier. The menu includes anything from chicken, chicken and waffles to scrimp and grits. Pork Chops is scheduled to open this fall. The mall is also adding a Quebec-based story called La Cena. It will be opening one of its first five U.S. stores in South Lake Mall in Hobart. And a New York City-based urban clothing store called Jimmy Jazz will be moving next to JCPenney. It sells brands such as Jordan and Polo. There will be also a retail training lab located in the mall. Here, they will host job fairs and provide job placement assistance, resume writing, and interview, interviewing skills. This past Tuesday, the Town Council has released a statement declaring Menard's negotiations to the purchase of Griffith Park Plaza Shopping Mall, which is located at the corner of Ridge and Klein Avenue. The planned purchase would relocate the businesses already in the plaza, such as Kmart, Payless Shoe Source, the Dollar Tree, and more. Menard's plan would involve demolishing the current shopping center so that a new one can be built with the home shopping center at the forefront. If Menard's plan is successful, then the existing Menard's located on Ridge Road and Gary will be closed. The actual purchase of the shopping center will take place in a few months, but construction of a new shopping plaza could take place over a couple of years which would create 50 new full-time jobs. Indiana Superintendent, Superintendent Glenda Ritz makes a visit to the new Cary Gosh Elementary School in East Chicago. The visit was in response to the relocation of East Chicago residents and because the elementary school was sent on contaminated land. According to School City of East Chicago, Superintendent Paige McNulty, the city is having problems with enrollment because families are being relocated or moving out of the area. East Chicago officials transformed the Old West Side Middle School building into the Carrie Gosh Elementary School. The Department of Education provided the school district with a $3 million loan for the re renovation. The school wasn't the only thing that was moved. The county election director sent out 578 letters to register voters informing them of a possible alternative polling place. The director stated that a large number of those notifications were returned because voters have already left. Popular television personality T.Y. Pennington will be in Crown Point this Saturday, the host of the Emmy-winning show Extreme Makeover Home Edition, and T.Y.'s Great British Adventure will appear at the opening of Water Place this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Pennington is a celebrity home design guru that has been on many television shows in the U.S., U.K., and Canada. He published home improvement books, a quarterly magazine, and made furniture lines for Howard Miller and Sears. Pennington sponsors a number of home product lines. Some include Westminster Fabrics and Lumber Liquidators. Water Place in Crown Point Open Saturday at 11 a.m., which is located at 1073 Broadway in Crown Point. People who attend the opening of Water Place will enter into a raffle to win a kitchen remodeling project worth $25,000. And that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you for watching ACC Student News. I'm Cody Reinsma. I'm Jenny Turner. I'm Jenny Turner. Thank you for watching the ACC Student News. The news students can use.